remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The all-important Iowa caucus has come and gone. And one thing that is abundantly clear amidst a whole bunch of uncertainty is that the former Vice President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, has flopped like a fresh fish on a boat deck. Yeah, see, oh, Biden, they say, is leading the way in popularity among the Democrats who are vying to be the next president of the United States of America. But Joe got his hat brought to him in Iowa. He finished a measly 12 percentage points in fourth place. That's it. That's all he was able, able to gather. 12 percentage points of the vote. Who finished first? Who was it? Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg. They were around 25, 30%, and Elizabeth Warren was around 20%. Now, you know they had tried this new app out that was supposed to make everything a lot smoother, make the whole voting process a whole lot smoother. And what happened was the whole thing went pretty much to hell. It malfunctioned. Uh, they blamed it on quality control. Uh, so the results didn't come in right away. In fact, the results are still pouring in with over, I think, 70% of the votes being counted so far. But Joe Biden is pretty much, I don't even see how Joe Biden got as close as he has so far because although one could point out that none of the other candidates are qualified because they don't have any experience. Joe Biden has experience in governing and, and he has experience in the White House. So inside and out of the White House, outside of the White House, he's made a whole lot of mistakes. And I'm gonna tell you something, there is nothing that anybody gonna be able to tell me about Joe Biden to get me to get over that 94 crime bill that he signed, that he championed. Now, I said earlier that some of the other ones, somebody can argue that the other ones don't have, the other candidates don't have uh, uh, something that you could point, point to to say that they have, they govern. But yeah, the other candidates have also governed, of course, you know, the senators and mayors and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, is Joe Biden has been in the White House. And he didn't do much while he was there. Uh, he was pretty much a parrot for Obama. He really didn't do anything. Uh, I'm not impressed by Joe Biden. He always slips up and reminds you of exactly who he is because he says a lot of what he really means, what he thinks inside. And so he, he has what they call a lot of Freudian slips. But I don't, I guess they are slips. And, you know, fraud and slip is basically when people say subconsciously out loud what they're thinking. So, uh, or what they say out loud what they're subconsciously uh, are thinking. So, Joe Biden is a good old boy. And this is one of those situations where a zebra is not going to change his stripes. Joe Biden is who he is. Can't believe that he's gotten this close, can't believe that people are still considering him as a viable candidate. I'd rather vote for somebody who ain't never had a shot at it, somebody who ain't got a record of doing me dirty, than to vote, somebody, vote for somebody who has a record, and I'm going to go in and say, well, you know what, and they say, well, just trust me this time. I know I messed over you in the past, but trust me this time. See, I'd rather get down with someone who has never put their foot on my neck before. Joe Biden, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure people know who you are. The real Joe Biden, not the Obama uh, cool partner, the vice president. No, nah, not that dude. That ain't the real Joe Biden. 
Well, that's part of him. But the real Joe Biden was at his best showing you who he really was back in the 80s and the 90s. Late 80s, 90s. Oh, Joe Biden was a handful. And he was every single thing that represented evil in America. I could go as far as saying he was the personification of evil. Yeah. So he's not getting in. That, I was about to say I would guarantee you, but I can't because Trump is in office. And you know how that goes. Let us pray. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?